What's going on, mi gente? Casper Martinez, Latino Film Chatter. This is a follow-up video to the New York International Latino Film Festival. Not being so Latino, as I say. Um, I did put up a video expressing my concern as to the fact that the initial content that's being thrown out there to promote this year's film festival does not really reflect the Latino experience. And of course, we have questions about that. I'm not the only one that's questioning this, but I seem to be the only one standing up for it and i have no problem taking that task because somebody's got to do it so a lot of people started giving their, their feedback and uh one one particular uh comment i, I want to there's a bunch of comments i'm going to talk about but i'm going to start with the first one which is from miles maker who happens to be uh the producer of spare change and he clarifies that suset azariah gun is half dominican and half black is she not a latina as Azariah wrote, produced, directed, and stars in Spare Change, which also features Fred Valle, who is Puerto Rican. Our lead actor is black, but does this fact make this movie any less of a Latino film? Right? So then the thing is, Mr. Moe answers him, and Mr. Moe says something like, I be Mr. Miles Maker, I believe the confusion is in that Spare Change appears to be a film about an African-American experience and point of view. Not sure if Latino audiences identify with this film being a Latino experience and point of view, which is what the film festival sells itself as. This is a film festival that showcases Latino experiences, you know. And then he goes on to say, if she is half Dominican, then that's great. She should be celebrated. If she is a Latina when it's convenient, then it is questionable, you know, which which uh, is a good point. Miles goes on to answer and say, Mr. Mo, I'm black when it's convenient too, but we can never escape the skin we're in, so let's not get it twisted. I don't know what he means by that, and I think, and I, I, I made this, this comment to him, I think Miles really needs to do some soul searching because I know who I am. I know that I'm Latino, I know I'm Puerto Rican, I know I'm from the Bronx, I know I'm a person of color, and I identify, in a, and I, I actually... Uh, make an effort to let people know wh who I am and what I'm about. Now he goes on to ask, and this is Miles. Please help me get this straight. It, straight. If a black man make a film, makes a film with a white lead, is it a white film or a black film? Now ask Hollywood the same question. If a man directs a film with an all-female cast, can he submit the film to a film festival for women? Okay, here's the thing. We got to stop comparing Hollywood to the film festival. The only thing, the only thing that, that meshes those two together is that this particular film festival's purpose is to highlight and empower the Latinos so that way Hollywood acknowledges and sees our content and, and starts utilizing us to be able to tell our stories along with other stories. When you're doing the business side of, this, uh, of the film business, it's completely different than from a film festival running a, a mission statement that they're not following through on, you know. And then he goes on to say, is a Latino film only one that is written, produced, directed, and starring 100% Latinos? What about the producers? What about the post-production? Now you're getting a little ridiculous. Really, who gives a fuck about the post-production when it comes to a film festival in terms of them being Latino, black, Chinese, or not? The, the people that are focused on are the directors, the screenplay writers, the actors, and of course, I'm not dismissing the post-production team because they're essential to the process of filmmaking, but this is not about them, okay? So, you guys, stop rambling and trying to skew this shit to something else that it's not. All I'm saying is stick to your fucking mission statement and follow through, you know? And then Miles goes on to say, Casper, I understand your concern here, and at the same time, uh, you know, he goes, I agree but disagree. I don't know what that means either. I mean... People, you either agree with what I'm saying or you don't. Either way, I got to respect what you say because if you're listening to me, I got to listen to you. Now, I'm going to read a couple of, of things. Let me start with Maria because Maria answers Miles. And Maria Nieto from Latinos in Entertainment says, I understand what you're saying, Miles, but the truth is that as a festival that proclaims to foster the work and vision of one particular community, in order to serve as a showcase for talent inherent within that community and as a sharp counterpoint to the mainstream film community's continuing exclusion of that talent, 
then the Latino point of view and angle must be found either in the screenplay, the cast, or the director in such a way as to show the Latino point of view and truly does serve as a as a showcase in one or more our or ideally all of the main uh, of the main constructs of a film i agree with casper in applauding the women's festival for not accepting a film that that did not meet their criteria what was happening here was that miles was trying to make a point he says well you know a guy directed a a, a, a woman's film and it was written by a woman and it was cast with women and the and the women's film festival did not take it you know what I applaud the Women's Film Festival. They stood their ground. If they wanted a Women's Film Festival with a male's perspective, then every man who does women movies can go and submit. But they stood their ground. That's the problem I have with the Latino Film Festival. They don't stand their ground. They keep trying to do this whole whole uh, community kind of hippie attitude of we're all for all and we're all about us and it's not just latinos there's other people out there then let those other people do their festivals but stand by your mission statement and stop acting like this shit is not a real issue because it is a fucking real issue you know and you don't have to answer to me calixto you have to answer to the people that spend their dollars at your festival because right now the way i see you you're a promoter you're like a club promoter you, you got these venues, who are the exhibitors, and you told them, hey, Papa, check it out. I'm going to get all, all this content. We'll fill up your seats. You and I split the money. Filmmakers don't make shit. I get sponsorship dollars, and it's a success for us. That's pretty much your philosophy. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't try to rebuttal it, because that's exactly what you are about. Okay? So let me get back to Maria's point, because she has some really good points here. Um, uh, I agree with Casper for applauding the Women's Festival for not accepting it. However, were the, it was in all respect, their point is that lots of great films are done by men about women, for women, all the time. But their mission is to show that women can do it in the driver's seat. At Linda, as for the diversity and evolving nature of Latino community and for the differences among us, I would say that the festival is for those who identify as Latino. If someone does not, then this is not their festival, nor their concern. Thank you. That goes to you, Tony K. The irony is that if done right, the festival could, by retaining its focus, absolutely, retain your focus, help us solve, discuss the very issue of what it means to be Latino. Solving those issues is a family matter, entre familia. But if you keep letting the neighbors in on the conversation, then La Familia will never get to hash it out among themselves and for themselves. That is the point of a festival such as this, to hear our own voices without having it drowned out by outside voices and opinion. Too much of the Latino identity forged for public consumption is told by others based on their outsider's perception of who the fuck we are. You know... She also goes on to say, I can't imagine someone saying to a young Spike Lee that focusing on the issue of his community was immature, undeveloped, and needed to be attached to the umbilical cord. What that brilliant director, Mr. Lee, understood clearly, and which our Latino community needs to understand as well, is that the only way we will wrestle our identity back into our hands is by formulating it ourselves. Okay? Mr. K, he shows his ignorance of the struggle of all communities who are not the majority. He speaks like a man who does not have to deal with other people telling him why his skin, culture, or accent makes him. He speaks like a man accustomed to the luxury of determining his own identity. And we, my friends, do not have that luxury. This is Casper Martinez for Latino Film Chatter. The dialogue continues. Please give me your comments. I'll talk to you later.